Number 57. What is the EMFX of a cell being measured in a potentiometer if the cell's EMF is 12 volts and the potentiometer balances for R sub X uh, 5 ohms and R sub S of 2.5? So basically, whenever you're dealing with a problem like this, I would just recommend um, that we consider that the, these two items, the potentiometer and the standard cell, are connected in series, and therefore we would have that uh, the current, we know the currents are constant in series. So the current... Um, passing through, you know, we could call it the current sub X because they're talking about EMF sub X, all right? Um, it will equal then the current um, uh, in series. So what I can do now is I can break this on up using Ohm's law into VX, V sub X and R sub X. And then this is going to be uh, V sub S over R sub S. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look for, it says, what is the EMF of X? And, uh, you know, essentially that's the same as the voltage. So just cross multiply this term on over to solve. Get rid of this little underline. And, you know, here is our formula now. So we have now uh, the standard cells EMF. That's V sub S. So that's 12. The R sub X they gave us is 5. And then divide that by the 2.5. And that's all it is to it. That's all there is to it. So 12 times 5 divided by 2.5, and it comes out to 24 volts. All right, 24 volts. All right. All right, and uh, yeah, that's that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.